Hello everyone, Kyler on the way here, and today I'm back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. In today's video, we're going to do a weapon comparison against comparing two weapons and contrasting them, um, con contrasting them throughout this video. And those two guns are the Smart Blue Bazooka and the Stinger. Now, the, sti the Smart Blue Bazooka what? has a 25 efficiency, fire rate is 79, capacity of 4, and mobility of 100. The Stinger has an efficiency of 25, fire rate 83, capacity of 6, and mobility 115. So, the main difference with this weapon is this weapon. Actually, they both have a pretty much the same similar fire rate when you put, put, put them both in the gameplay. The capacity and the mobility are pretty much different with this weapon. These weapons are definitely different. This so we're gonna start with the smart blue bazooka for the start of this so i was trying to record this earlier and like there's like a little setting when you start when you start recording with the app i'm using and like i chose this like this iphone option to start recording and when you pick the iphone option this is what happens like yeah yeah i'll explain it later so we're gonna start with the smart blue bazooka this weapon does sound like actually never mind. Actually when you hear it the weapon when you actually use it, my sound is off right now. I don't even know why. I'm trying to like record and then the sound is off. Like see, it's not working. But this weapon does sound like when a bullet bill comes out of a little cannon thing when you're playing Mario Brothers. D definitely in like Mario Maker or Mario U and everything like that. That's what this weapon sounds like. But I don't well, my sound does not work, so it's kind of unfortunate, but you're gonna have to live with that. It's not it's not a bad thing when your sound doesn't work when you're trying to record. So this weapon is a three shot, takes someone out with added armor, as you can see oh okay, probably one more rocket rocket would do. Yep, there we go. So I killed that guy, that guy did have item armor. Since seventy percent I I don't know, like since a lot of players that are level twenty seven to thirty one have admin armor, fortunately then you'll be able to take them out in three shots so two shots at least will take someone out that's level 27 and up so i don't know how much this weapon costs when you're lower level because this weapon does have upgrades and everything like that I, I don't know when how many coins it is if you guys are like level 17 or 220 or something like that tell me how much this weapon costs i would really like to know so i guess the gold armor player is probably like two shots three maybe i'm not sure Alright, probably in like a few seconds I'm going to use the Stinger. Okay, I'm going to use it right now. So, Stinger is definitely a really old weapon in this game. I'm just going to tell you guys that. So, the Stinger, you can actually control the rockets. And the big, um, the, what's that gun called? Smart Bowl Bazooka, that's what it's called. You don't have to control it and it aims against the person. But the flaw with both of those weapons is that... This weapon is like a little harder to control than the smart bullets are good clearly because you actually got to control them. But this weapon has faster bullets than the the smart bullet bazooka does. If you guys didn't know that. This is how fast this weapon goes. That those are pretty fast rockets, I'm just saying that. So this weapon is also three shots. And yeah, that's actually a pretty good weapon that actually shoots pretty fast, definitely. Especially for the stinger. And with the Stinger, I mean, with the Smart Blue Bazooka, you'll be able to actually run away from the rockets when you have a chance to. Oh, man. Don't have any ammo. Okay, we're dead. We died. Sorry. So, with the Smart Blue Bazooka, people might be able to run away from the rockets when you actually shoot it. So, that's one thing about that, that thing about the Smart Blue Bazooka. With the Stinger, since the rockets are a lot faster, you won't be able to escape them because people won't see it coming. You'll, you'll be able to control them. That was dumb. I don't even know why I looked away from the person, so... So, I'll... No, never mind. I can't do it on myself because I have the demolition cape and the mushroom hat on. But she increases damage to yourself, and as you can see right here, that did, like, five shields of damage to me, that's why. So, it's, it is five shots. I mean, not five shots, three shots. Trust me, guys, it is three shots. I mean, I clearly shot someone three times. So after this match, I'm going to smart switch back to the smart blue bazooka. So, the 
I think I did say this before. I, th I think I did say this before. The small boobs look at those cost 275 coins and the stinger cost 210 gems. So if you are if, if you are a person that plays Pixel Gun 3D and you like want to apply every weapon in this game like I do apparently. <laughs> Not really. No, I don't really want to buy every weapon in this game. The rockets are still falling. No. Then go after the stinger if you can. So this is what the dang it. Ah, uh, I was gonna show you guys what the stinger was actually used for. To hit long range people. They have a jetpack, but that's more the smart bulb zuka. Okay. Okay, I don't think I can get this guy. Actually, you might be able to. Ow, I had the mech. Actually, I think that was all my rockets exploding right. There. What the heck is even happening? What the heck was that all about, man? That was that. There can't be a lot of explosive coming around. That's not even the color of my explosions. You guys saw that. I'm not even kidding. You guys saw that. Like you, you guys saw that little like explosion, right there. Like multiple explosions going off at once. You guys just saw that, right? I mean, I did record it, so. This I have. This I have proof that I did see it. Okay, we have ammo again. This weapon does have a little less ammo than the, uh, the freaking smart bull bazooka does, definitely. When you, like, first start off, when you die, you get 18 shots. With smart bull bazooka, you get 20, which is not too much of a big difference. Like, at all, actually. So, it's not really a matter about ammo when you, uh, magazines and everything like that. God dang it. Can I please kill this gold armor guy? Never mind. He had smart bull bazooka. So that's pretty much what the, the completion right there. If you have good aim with the stinger, then you'll be able to kill people with this thing, <laughs> definitely. And I can I actually didn't get a single kill, mostly because of three people, but I'm actually going to a different match. First I'm gonna switch these smart blue bazooka. Okay. The good thing about that is that they you can actually switch weapons pretty easily. They're literally right next to each other with the laser minigun right in between them in the shop. So, Sonic School is definitely not the best choice for this weapon. Other area damage weapons like the Big Body and the Solar Power Cannon, those weapons are definitely better for Sonic School. And these weapons are not, not, not that really that good for Sonic School, in my personal opinion, because the rockets will take a while to, like, like, the rockets will take a while just to figure out which person to hit anyway. Okay, we're gonna go with four seasons. Definitely a better map for the smart blue bazooka and the stinger so we're gonna start with both smart blue bazooka these weapons do both have the same scope actually except that the only difference with the scope is that the um what the, the stinger has a little red tint to it it looks more reddish like when you like look into it dang it man trapper but yeah the scopes i don't really use them that much with both of these weapons anyway so these weapons, they're not, it's not really that useful to use the scope anyway. It doesn't really help you that much. Because you don't really need to aim anyway, so. Okay, can't get this guy that's completely not even moving. Or right, we'll get that other guy. Nah, oh, man. Try to shoot in front of him because people will easily run away like that guy was kind of doing right there. He tried to run away, but he couldn't. He, he ran right into it, but. But this weapon is pretty powerful. These both of these weapons are pretty powerful. These this they are both three shot weapons, so you can easily take people out, especially with the smart bulbs we got. It's definitely better for closer range. And this thing is better for a closer and medium range. It's definitely I mean both of these weapons are good in medium range. But you know what I mean. Got two kills there, that was pretty lucky. The other guy that I killed, he probably had lower health than the average. So there you go, I hit that guy three times, that's proof that it's three shots, take someone out with these smart blue bazooka, gonna stick to the singer, use that for a while. So this weapon does have faster shots, so if I can even aim the person, dang it man, it's so hard man. So the reason why I'm using this in longer range is because, you know, since there are shot rocks, you won't be able to react enough at closer range. Not that I'm not saying that it's bad at close range. It's just that it's gonna be really hard to use at close range because all the rockets will go around all over the place because you're aiming. Like look at that. Like my rockets are going all around me just because the match ended. And I was not even aiming, so like I don't even know why when you jump in the air with the stinger, like with this is what happens when you shoot. Alright, wait. When I'm never mind. 
like, well, like, the rockets go above you, that, like that, I, I was not even aiming, and, so you can shoot people in the air with, eat more easily with the singer, this is my, definitely my mas last match here, like, the last video I, I tried to record was, like, 14 minutes long, not gonna make it as long as that one, definitely, okay, so I'm gonna try to get this guy, two shots to get I, I didn't even get a single kill. I actually got one, but... So this is definitely what the stinger is used for. Definitely. Let's aim at the guy with your scope. If I can. Okay, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, boys. There you go. Get him. Come on. Oh, so close. Dang it. Get him, get him, get him. So this is definitely what the stinger is used for. If I, this guy will stop running away. Oh, He died. Oh, well. It doesn't really matter. Here he is again. Oh, yeah. Smart bulbs. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Or does he? No, he has his crossbow, actually. Never mind. Actually, I don't think the rockets are still alive, actually. Never mind. It's actually kind of hard to use this weapon when you're trying to aim at someone with the jetpack. Actually, I actually almost had him. Oh, uh, no, nope, that guy's. Oh, I need ammo. Oh, well. Got to check out my c Force rifle. Can't use the printing weapon for the longest amount of time, definitely. This weapon does run out of ammo pretty quickly. So. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe it's about my opinions about the Stinger and the Smart Wuzuka comparing the two and everything like that. I mean, they're both pretty good weapons, definitely. This weapon definitely is a lot more expensive than the um, Smart Wuzuka, so if you are a normal Pixel Gun 3 video, then I recommend getting the Smart Wuzuka. Both because that one is cheaper by far, and and that weapon does cost coins, which makes no sense because that weapon's actually pretty good. About as good as a stinger, but but tell me in the comments which weapon is better than the other. I'll see why. I can't literally decide on which weapon it is. Well, I can't literally do a comparison on any weapon I can choose. Any two weapons. Because I say, like, maybe, like, something stupid, like, the Seeking Forces Rifle versus the Hellraiser. It's obviously the Seeking Forces Rifle because it has more damage, so, what's the point of using the Hellraiser, so. Okay, I'm out of ammo with this thing again. I'm gonna kill myself to just get more ammo. I don't really care about killing myself, even though it's actually a really newbie thing to do when you kill yourself when someone's trying to kill you right now. It's really dumb. It's so dumb. Like, when you kill yourself, you should actually lose points. Like, you know what I mean? Like, lose, like, points from your score. You should lose, like, 50 or 100 or something like that. Maybe 100 is a little bit too far, but... Like, 50 points. I should say 50 points. Okay. Alright, get Vegeta. I swear to God. I seen that name, Vegeta. Like, the last time I tried to record this, I swear. Or maybe I just seen him, like, really in time in the video. So... If you guys did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe for more Pixel Gun 3D videos. Um, not been uploading, not too much. I mean, I have uploaded two videos in the past two days. I'm trying to beat this machine on Geometry Dash, got 75%, like the points right there. 75 points from the headshot and the revenge and everything like that. So I'm on 75 on this machine, on Geometry Dash, I'm not, I probably will do a video on it. On my computer, I don't know how to use a microphone on it, so... So we'll see if I can do a video on it. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.